All right, YouTubers, welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you saw our last Simply Safe security system installation, um, you heard us say we were going to add to our system. So here we go, we are adding to our system. Got my entry door switch, got my hand model, got my cat with a jingly collar in the background. There's a hardware pack and the mag switch. I'm guessing it's just a magnetic switch. Um, if I'm correct, here, can I open that? My lovely wife. Yeah. So, it's just basically one piece has a magnet and this piece has the, uh, the sensor. And when it goes together, you know, one part mounts on your door jam, one part mounts on your door and goes together and it says it's good. Uh, door opens up, you know, obviously they separate and it sends a signal to the brain saying, hey, this door is open. Got the uh, switches here too. All right, get that crap out of the way. Next thing on the agenda, let's do this. So pretty much everything I've opened Simply Safe, except for that little door switch, um, has said let's do this. Um, let's take this out. We got the, so this piece here, um, got the keypad, and it has the hardware, along with the instruction book. We don't need no instruction book, we'll figure it out. Um, Looks like a little flathead screwdriver with some kind of a pin tool. Probably like to reset something. Uh, a couple washers and screws. Uh, bolts, I'm assuming those go through the mechanism. This does not use, it doesn't come with a new deadbolt pin or anything like that. Um, it uses your existing deadbolt lock. Um, so you hook this, you know, take your inside knob out and replace it with this and it'll bolt through here somehow to your existing deadbolt lock. You know, it has the keypad and everything. I'm assuming this goes on the outside. So you can touch key entry. The other thing too about that is you can program it to different codes so that you know who's coming in. So if you've got, uh, you know, if you want your neighbor to have access to your house or your kids or, you know, say, you know, I don't know why me and John would have a different code to get in, but maybe, you know, if, you know, we want, you know, to give it to one of the kids or whatever, they have a code to get in. They have something different to get in with, so. And it'll send an alert to our phone to let us know, you know, hey, so-and-so unlocked your door yeah. and is in your house. Yep, who pushed the code, so that's nifty. All right, well, let's get this stuff installed here and get a move on for the day. All right, so I mounted the sensor. It's outside in the garage actually, but it doesn't really matter where you enter it or mount it because still, if you open it up, it you know flashes and sends a signal. Two beeps means it's good. One beep means it's bad or open. So as I shut the door, you know, it's shut. Now you can hear in the background, you hear that beep. So every time I open that door, the brain on the Simply Safe monitor detects that door opening and beeps and logs it. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna remove the old doorknob or the old screws here. Take them out. Take them out. Okay, so on this Simply Safe piece here, it comes and it'll be, flip it over, it'll be mounted like this with these tabs. Pop these little tabs out. You take this metal piece off. Okay, and it comes with four screws. You know, it comes with two big, uh, two big ones and two small ones. Um, my size is obviously the smaller ones. So we will mount this here. You got three hands, you got three hands, we're good. This is why it gives you a piece of tape to tape over the other side here, but I'm stubborn and I'm just gonna use my fingers. You know, 
whatever, it works. Screw that one in there. Screw that one. And there's a hole. That's what she said. Uh, I don't know what he said, but. <laughs> So, we're going to hmm. sit in the center of that hole very well. So now what I gotta do is I gotta choose which one of these little do-bobbers fits. Well, that's good tape. I don't know what that is, but they had a... do well in the tape industry. All right, so this piece goes inside like so. And this piece goes in here, like so. But, like I said, it does, it's down low in the hole, so I need to make that fit. So I need to loosen those screws, slide that in the hole, then tighten them up. There's a couple little washers. I want to use these washers too. So did you end up using that piece of tape you said you were too stubborn to use? Yep, sure did. And I'll tell you why. So the way this is mounted, our doorknob is in the way. A lot of deadbolts are on top and the regular knob is on the bottom. Our deadbolt is on the bottom. So in order for this to mount, it won't fit. So I had to flip the mechanism of the lock over you know i took it out flipped it over and put it back in which in turn flipped the outside key because it's off centered so i had to flip that over now i can put this in and so our actually our stuff is actually going to be upside down but it's really right side up in our world and that centers that piece in the hole so it's it's kind of finicky i'm glad i took a second look at that it was a head scratch for just a second, but but it was an easy fix. It was an easy fix. We just had to flip the door, uh, flip the key lock over. Which when we installed our shatterproof door on the outside, we had to do the same thing. Yeah, we did. Just because of the way this door is put together. Yeah, but it's all good. All right, we're just gonna zip these in. Yeah, T tight. So we'll put this little piece. There, there, there. I don't know which way is lock and unlock right now, I guess. So we put, well, let's put this in first. Put this in there. I'll slide that over the top. And we push that clip in. Push. 
Well, that's snug. Anyway, you push these, put it on there. Oh, I push them in. There, now that piece is mounted. I'll peel the sticky stuff off the back here. This is for the keypad that goes on the outside. That's good sticky stuff. Golly. Okay, so you need to mount it like three inches above or so, so you can get the little tool in there. Because there's a little pinhole you have to push, and I'll show you here. So you clip it in and whatnot, and you have to use this little bitty tool. It's just a real small thing in my bobber. You poke it in the hole and it releases it so you can pop it off. It's just a little, push it back a little spring clamp. That's all it does. So we're gonna take these strips out so the batteries are activated. So now we have buttonable, pushable buttonables. And then I'm gonna put these two screws because I like the sticky stuff, but I want them to be screwed in also. So we're just gonna zip, zip, zip. After Oops. I drop them. Take two, and action. Got the second longest bit on the planet going on here. Shut the door. Okay, now take that off. Take this off? Yep. And push the A little bitty test button. button. Yep. Gotta push the test button so that the app will recognize the device. And you uh, you can't really see it, but it's right there. Smart lock added, did you hear? All right. Okay. So let's uh, show you how this works. You want to activate it? There. Now it's locked. Unlock it. And unlock. I just got the keypad. And everybody will have a code. So there it is. Thanks for watching. Now, if you like what you see here today, go ahead and lock that. Oh, never mind. Yep. There it is. Yeah. If you like what you see here today, go ahead and uh, hit that like button, share it, subscribe it. We appreciate you guys. Thanks a lot.